let's you back up. Let's Asian okay. Dating website? Again, when we got it was this a year and a half shot, old. My mom and I created an account, which was very hard to create an account. Which is kind of weird. Liz hurls a pretty big accusation at Big Ed. Like, you can't write this stuff. Big Ed and Liz bring their on and off again relationship drama to part one of the 90 Day Fiance Happily Ever After tell all. But Liz, you've right never there. been alone. Sure. You've always been Definitely with a guy. You've always been in toxic, sick relationships. But it gets even messier when Ed's ex fiance Rose drops in from the Philippines with a bombshell. Has Ed messaged you or spoken to you the last couple months? Yeah. It all went down during Sunday's episode. Liz and Ed all smiles sitting side by side. Kind of interesting body language there, considering Ed straight up told Liz he wasn't ready to marry her during the season finale. Right now, um, I can't give you an answer on marriage. I'm not ready to marry anyone. So when Ed and Liz reveal the status of their relationship, the cast is pretty shocked. We're still together. We're engaged, but um, we're not living together. Another stunning moment? When Ed admitted he kicked Liz out when she had nowhere to go, she wound up couch surfing while trying to find her own place. You're a piece of for doing that. Okay, well, first of all, you don't know the situation. We were fighting every day. I begged her, Liz, it's not working. Please move out. I'll help you in any way I can. And she wouldn't. Because she loves you, Ed. Let's go to It has Let's nothing to do with I love her, too. Well, Liz finally got her own place, and she's got an arrangement with Ed that she says works, staying at his home every other night. Ed doubled down on all of that, adding that even when they're married, he wants separate bedrooms. That's not love. No. Yeah, that's not love. No. That's I, weird to I, me. Yeah, that's really sad. But the heat gets turned all the way up when Ed claims that Liz threatened to leave him if he didn't marry her in two weeks. I I'm said, you're home. either all in trying to make this relationship work last time or weeks, I'm done. Bro, I'm gonna go be with other guys. I'm putting myself no, back on the market. No, I said either you're going Liz, to try to make this text. work with me right now or yeah. I'm gonna go be you single. You threatened me, you're like, I'm gonna go and sleep date. around. That's you. Because gonna... you dumped me. I'm single. So either well, Liz, if you that's what want you want, me, don't you want threaten me, me, commit yourself. Don't threaten me. Don't threaten me. Go live your single life. You've right never there. been alone. Sure. You've always been Definitely with a guy. You've always been in toxic, sick relationships. That's an awful thing to say. It's the truth. And then they go from arguing over jealousy. Because he's jealous. I'm not. Liz, are you jealous? I mean, no. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? To Liz revealing she caught Ed on a dating gap for Asian women after he made her move out. Let's you back want an up. Asian Let's Asian okay. dating website? Again, when we got it was this a year and a half shot, old. My mom and I created an account, which was very hard to create an account. Which is kind of weird. But some fans believe it, because when we first met Ed on 90 Day Fiancé, he was with his much younger than fiancé, Rose, who was from the Philippines. It Doesn't said that, he was active three hours. You and your mom right. set up a fake account he to spy on He was on me? it an hour after I left his house. We checked again the next day and he was active three hours prior to that. I want, I want to see the receipts. That was a year and a half old website. Speaking of Rose, Sean asked Ed if he's still in contact with her. I may have, I don't, I don't remember. You may, how are you not, it's a yes or no. I don't know, I don't know if I was or not. Nothing like a surprise cameo from Rose herself to refresh Ed's memory. Has Ed messaged you or spoken to you the last couple months? In a preview of part two of the tell-all airing January 8th, it looks like Ed and Liz's relationship is going to head even further downhill. You want me to be on Liz. your side when no. your I want ex you to fiance I want you to stop just like a prima pulled you out? You never give a about how I feel, it's about how you feel. Why do you keep coming back? 